For WTSA News and for Brattleboro Community Television on your Friday, April 8th, my name is Ian Kelly. These are the stories we're following at this hour. The state of Vermont on Thursday reporting 216 new cases of the virus. There were 10 new cases reported in Wyndham County. New Hampshire on Thursday reporting 204 new cases. There were 17 new cases reported in Cheshire County. No new deaths reported for either Vermont or New Hampshire on Thursday. Massachusetts reporting seven deaths, 1,760 new cases of the virus. There were 11 new cases reported in Franklin County. The Vermont House Education Committee has passed the Universal School Meals Act. Anti-hunger advocates call it a big step forward for making sure all students continue to have breakfast and lunch available to them at no cost next school year. The proposal would be funded by money from an education fund surplus and Governor Scott has indicated he does not support the funding portion of the bill. Senator Patrick Leahy is among those praising newly confirmed U.S. Supreme Court Justice Ketanji Brown Jackson. According to Leahy, the new justice is the first ever justice who has served as a public defender, bringing a much needed perspective to the court. New Hampshire Senator Jean Shaheen on meeting Jackson was struck by her unshakable values and commitment to the law. All the senators from both states voted in favor of the nomination. Vermont's Department of Financial Regulation is applauding word that the nation's three major credit rating agencies will not include medical debt in credit reports. Beginning July 1st of this year, Equifax, Experian, and TransUnion will remove nearly 70% of medical debt from Americans' credit reports. The obligation to pay the debt, however, will remain. A Guilford company has been named Vermont's Woman-Owned Business of the Year. The Small Business Administration announced the recognition for Vermont Roadworks on Thursday. The recognition was one of seven awards handed out, and there was only one going to a Wyndham County business. WTSA Sports, here we go. Major League Baseball is back in the Bronx today. It's the Red Sox and the Yankees squaring off. Nathan Avaldi on the mound for Boston. Garrett Cole gets the start for the Yankees. First pitch for the Sox and the Yankees this afternoon from the Bronx is at 105. The Bucks beat a short-handed Celtic squad last night, 127 to 121. Marcus Smart led all Celtic scorers with 29 points. Boston finishes up their season Sunday in Memphis, tip-off at 7 p.m. And the Bruins host a pretty good Tampa Bay Lightning team tonight, or rather, I should say the Bruins are in Tampa up against the Lightning this evening with the puck dropping at 7 p.m. For WTSA News and for Brattleboro Community Television on your Friday, April 8th, have a safe and tremendous weekend, everybody. My name is Ian Kelly.